What are my top tips for required practicals for A-level chemistry? Number one, focus on why. The single most important thing you should be asking yourself is why am I carrying out this particular step in this particular way? Number two, spot limitations. No practical on earth is perfect. What was difficult about carrying out the practical? Where could it be improved? What limitations are there? Number three, how are you using the data collected? What do you do with it? Are you making a table? Are you making a graph? What are you trying to calculate? What's the goal from the experiment? This will really help you with paper free based questions where you're asked to use and analyze data obtained. Number four, where does it fit in your course? It's really common these days for sixth forms and colleges to condense required practicals into blocks, which means you do several required practicals kind of at the same time or one after the other. There's nothing wrong with this, but it can make you feel a bit disconnected from the rest of your course. And ultimately, the required practicals link to the topics and content that you're being taught in your A-level specification. So make sure you know where it's from. Number five, be organized. It is a essential you are very organized with your notes and understanding from required practicals because believe me it's a mess if you aren't so when you've carried out a required practical write out your own notes on what you did and why and then put them in a separate folder together with all your other required practicals and when it comes around to revising you've got your bank of required practical information there that you can use and draw from